Typography and Design. There's two main different types of type styles, one serif and one is sans serif. Serifs have these little tails at the end that help to accentuate the letter or character. Serifs are helpful when there's a large amount of text that's smaller. The serifs act as accents on the character and helps the reader distinguish the letters much easier. Sans serifs lack these little accents. Because they lack those accents and huge amount of detail, they can make pretty solid, clean headlines and help headlines really stand out. A third category to fonts is script fonts, and they are everywhere. Script fonts have their own special use in design, and they can help add a more natural look with their smooth lines and lack of strict angles. And you got to be careful with script fonts because they can easily overwhelm a design piece if you use too many. You'll notice in this example these fonts pair very well together, probably because one is a sans serif and the other one is a serif font. Rarely do two different serif fonts look good together. And the same thing goes with serif fonts. If you have two very similar styles, they tend to compete with each other quite a bit. It's also a good idea to experiment with your font mixing. In this case, a script font works really well with a serif font, but it also works really well with a sans serif font. Font weights come in two basic sizes. There's usually light weights and they're also bold weights. And some fonts have everything in between, from thin, light, medium, bold to heavy. Railway is an excellent font that has a wide variety of font weights available. Helvetica is another fine example of a font that has a wide variety of weights available and it gives you lots of options and flexibility when you're creating your design. That's why Helvetica is used so much in design. And Gill Sands is another great example. You'll notice when you use two different weights in the same font family, you notice they pair very well together and provide a balance to your typography. And spacing makes all the difference. There's default spacing, which you're seeing right here, which is the default spacing between the characters. If you widen the gaps between the characters, you'll notice it starts to take on a different characteristic. In this case, it can take on a more elegant look with those wider gaps. There's also tight spacing, which has its own use in design. If you want to be loud and bold, it can really get your attention. And you start to tighten that spacing. Some fonts do not work well with certain spacing. Take, for instance, lowercase letters. Wide spacing can make it a little bit tough to read, and it feels a little disconnected. Opposite is true for uppercase letters. They're a little bit stronger, so the wider spacing between the characters, they remain strong and easy to read. I would avoid using wide gaps between script fonts. They're meant to stay at the default spacing. When it comes to spacing and graphic design, you'll notice these three different terms quite frequently in the terminology. Turning is when you set the spacing between the characters all on your own. Tracking is letting the computer set the spacing between the characters. And spacing is just a general term you'll see designers use interchangeably with the above too. Italics can be very useful and they can make wonderful accents. Italics work really well when you have multiple headlines and you really want to have a highlight or a hyper focus on one particular word and a phrase. And breaking up the monotony is a goal in graphic design. Lowercase letters have a softer, more gentle feeling to them. And this can go along with the emotions you want to bring out to the viewer when they look at your design piece. All capital letters can look really good on headlines, but they tend to have a more stronger feeling to them. In some cases, this may not be what you want your viewer to feel. And sometimes it's necessary for grabbing one's attention. And as you'll find with everything in design, balance is key. And having a mix of lowercase, uppercase, and different font styles really helps to bring everything together. Find ways to shake up your typography usage by using a wonderful combination of serif and sans serif fonts together using a mix of capital and lowercase. This ensures your design is interesting, unique, and diverse. <music>